On October 27, 1979, the Amazona Gildingi, also known as the St. Vincent Amazon or the St. Vincent Parrot, was declared the national bird of the island nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This was done on the same day that the nation obtained political independence from the British. Such a step not only signified the newly formed nation's quest in forming an identity, but it also signified its commitment to preserving the indigenous bird species. The bird is part of the rare Amazona genus of birds, which are found in only a few Caribbean islands, along with Mexico and South America, with the Gildengi species found only on the island of St. Vincent. It was given the name Gildengi in honor of Reverend Lansdowne Gilding, an Oxford-educated clergyman and amateur naturalist who was born in and lived on St. Vincent. Before he died, he passed on his collection to the British Natural History Museum, which prompted the naming of the parrot after him. An adult St. Vincent parrot measures about 41 centimeters or 16 inches in length and weighs between 660 and 700 grams or 23 to 24.5 ounces, making it one of the larger members of the Amazona genus. The parrot's plumage is quite unique with two different morphs evident, a golden brown morph and a green morph. Its uniqueness is further intensified when observing individual parrots where the arrangement of colors and feathers differs for each bird. The parrot is beautiful and unique, but according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species, it is placed within the category of being vulnerable. Its existence, habitat, and behavior has been observed actively over the past 200 years and was first classified in 1836 by the Zoological Society of London as Cytacus gildingi. This was then changed to Chrysotis gildingi before its current name, Amazona gildingi, was adopted. One of the first literary pieces published concerning the parrot was done by the Zoological Society of London in 1874, which highlighted a presentation made by British naturalist Arthur Grote. Mr. Grote, while presenting to the society, mentioned a conversation between himself and a Mr. G. H. Hartane. Mr. Hartane had purchased one of the parrots for the society and explained that the parrot was now scarce on the island. Other pieces of literature were published about the parrot over time, all highlighting its vulnerability and stagnant growth. Such vulnerability and stagnation has been attributed to four main factors. The first factor refers to natural disasters, and more specifically, the eruptions of the La Soufre volcano and the hurricanes of 1780 and 1898. The La Soufre volcano erupted five times in recently recorded history, in the years 1718, 1812, 1902, 1971, and 1979. Many of the parrot's habitats, which were along the slopes of the volcano and the nearby areas of Mongaru and Richmond Peak, were destroyed during the eruptions. These areas are currently under mostly secondary forests, with areas of primary forests, which are preferred by the parrots, now secluded to much smaller sections of the island. The release of ash and toxic gases from the volcano affected the parrots as well, with dead parrots being reported as far south as the Bukament Valley after the 1979 eruption. In terms of hurricanes, St. Vincent usually escapes the full destructive effects. This, however, was not the case in the years 1780 and 1898. The Great Hurricane of 1780 swept through the Caribbean, taking over 22,000 human lives. It almost decimated the city of Kingstown and caused much loss of biodiversity. This was then followed by the Great Windward Islands Hurricane of 1898, which practically devastated St. Vincent. Over 300 people lost their lives, with the towns of Barrelly and Chateaubelair being destroyed and much of the island's forests and trees flattened. A great number of Gildingi parrots died, 
with dead birds being found on beaches as far as St. Lucia. The second factor is predation and competition. Although proven to be not as impacting as the other factors, it still must be mentioned. Opossum, hawks, and even rats are threats, and they hunt frequently for the bird's eggs. Competition is also seen between the Gildingi and the Pearly-Eyed Thrasher, where both compete for nesting sites. The birds also face possible threats from honeybees, where both species seemingly prefer similar arboreal conditions for building nests. The third factor refers to human threats, which should come as no surprise. The parrots were afforded absolute protection under the Bird and Fish Protection Ordinance of 1901, but hunting was still rampant. Only in recent times has it decreased. The parrots were also traded illegally as pets, both within the island and outside. Deforestation has perhaps affected them most, with many killed or forcefully relocated due to the clearing of lands for agricultural and settlement purposes. There was also a situation in 2010 at the Graham Hall Nature Sanctuary in Barbados, where intruders caused the death of one parrot. Security and unpredictable water supply and quality at the sanctuary, along with the 2010 intrusion, prompted the sanctuary to seek for a temporary safe haven for the birds. The sanctuary requested that the government of Barbados, in cooperation with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, assist them in moving the birds either to an offshore island or back to St. Vincent. The government of Barbados did not respond to the request. The inner grounds of the sanctuary, where the birds are kept, have been closed to the general public. The fourth factor is slow breeding. When a Gildingi parrot finds a mate, it sticks to that mate for life. Females also tend to lay no more than two eggs, which has further slowed their potential growth. Efforts have been made in recent times to protect the birds. Pioneers such as the late Calvin Nichols and the late Dr. Earl Kirby were active in capturing all necessary data pertaining to the parrots to help in developing conservation techniques. Protection methods have included the 1987 Wildlife Protection Act which implemented strict policies and fines and encouraged frequent surveillance of the birds. The establishing by the government of a 10,400 acre sanctuary in the central core of the island and the establishing of an agreement between the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Association for the Conservation of Threatened Parrots or the ACTP in Berlin, Germany. This agreement in 2019 saw the successful return of two male parrots from Berlin to St. Vincent. It was the first time in 40 years that Gildingi parrots were returned to their native country. Such conservation efforts have resulted in the bird population by 2010 growing to around 850 to 900 birds and increased from its population of 400 in the 1980s. Nevertheless, the bird is still vulnerable. Therefore, efforts must be both continued and put in place in saving the St. Vincent Parrot.